Ohio! Ryan is going to the Hiroshima Peace Park today. Come join me and learn the horrors of the atomic bomb. Hiroshima was a strategic base during World War II and was chosen by the Allied forces as a target for the atomic bomb. The bomb struck the city on 8.15am, causing unimaginable destruction to the entire landscape. This building was all that was left standing. There were some people who wanted it torn down as it reminded them too much of the pain. But ultimately, it was kept as a reminder to every one of us of the horrors of war. Nearby the dome, just across the river, the Children's Peace Monument is a monument for peace to remember the thousands of child victims of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. This monument was inspired by Sadako Sasaki, a young girl who died of leukemia from the radiation of the bomb. Sadako was only two years old when the bomb was dropped in Hiroshima. Her home was two kilometers away from the center of the explosion and she survived with no injuries. She grew up like any other girl and she loved sports. However, when she was 12, she had swellings on her neck and ears and she was diagnosed with leukemia. The doctor gave her a year to live. Sadako was inspired by a Japanese legend that one who created a thousand origami cranes would be granted a wish. She started folding cranes to wish to live. Despite completing her goal, she passed away when she was 12. Today, she's remembered through this story and the monument features a young Sadako carrying a crane above her head. Under the main structure lies a bronze crane that works as a wind chime when pushed against a traditional peace bell from which it is suspended. Every ring is a cry for a world without nuclear weapons. Today, people all over the world have the opportunity to donate cranes that they have folded in honour of Sadako and the others. The paper crane is a symbol of peace. Many school children in Japan gather in front of the monument and they express their hopes for peace. If you're lucky like us, you might catch one of these excursions. This is the Peace Flame. It is another monument to the victims of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. The flame has burned since 1964 and it will burn until all nuclear bombs on our planet are destroyed. Near the centre of the park is another monument that covers a cenotaph holding the names of all the people killed by the bomb. The monument is aligned to frame the peace flame and the A-bomb dome. Since you're here, don't forget to visit the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. It is just nearby. As Hiroshima was the first city to be attacked by an atomic bomb, this museum has become the main museum dedicated to educating visitors about the bomb. The museum has many interactive displays to educate people about the effects of the bomb and the background of the Second World War. It is definitely a must place visit for history buffs. The artifacts that survived the war are chilling and heartbreaking to look at. Marian cried when I saw the broken items. Moran will end with a poem that Moran saw when leaving the museum. That autumn in Hiroshima where it was said, For 75 years nothing would grow. New buds sprouted in the green that came back to life. Among the charred ruins, people recovered their living hopes and courage. Thanks for joining me in this snippet. I know the subject matter was very serious, but I hope Moran managed to make it fun for you. Subscribe to Moran for more videos and remember to leave me your comments. Matane!